Hi, I'm Kendra with Where's Moon Astrology, and today I am talking about Aries and Libra relationship compatibility. So I um, want to make a quick note that this is a very general analysis of how the two sign energies are going to interact with one another. Um, for something more specific to you and your partner, if you'd want to order a relationship reading with me, I'm leaving the link uh, to my store in the description of this video. That will give you a lot more insight, you know, aspects between your planets, how the two charts are interacting with one another, um, planetary overlays, etc. That said, Aries and Libra together. These are opposite signs. Um, this is our first opposition. <laughs> um, Aries rules the self, Libra rules relationships. Um, in a nutshell, that's pretty much what these two signs rule. They're both cardinal, um, both yang uh, polarity. Um, so there is a lot of room here for understanding. They do have a very different approach, however. So what I can see happening with the opposition, um, really any opposition, is that they're coming at things so differently and yet on the same axis. So there's a lot of room to grow with an opposition, but it's not going to come without some um, ups and downs, I think they're going to have to learn to understand each other but once they learn to understand each other and they learn to um make this energy work together learn you know each other's strengths and weaknesses and how they can complement one another again it can be a very complementary relationship so you've got aries um the first sign of the zodiac ruling the self and libra ruling others relationships you know how can we work together so um when aries and libra come together First of all, this is, you know, there's an instant attraction usually with the opposition. There's, um, you know, a, a certain feeling of you're so different from me and yet uh, so, so much the same. Like, I feel like it's almost kind of like you, you can feel that they would be complementary to you. Um, so there's just like an instant attraction with the opposition in that way. However, uh, and I think that, again, Air and fire, anytime air and fire come together, it is a very hilarious dynamic. You can have a lot of fun. Um, air can kind of, you know, fan the flames of the fire person. And it just turns into a really silly dynamic and you can run around and um, you run around a lot, making a lot of crazy noises, having a lot of fun. I literally do that with every air every air person I've ever become friends with or, you know, been in a relationship with, we just egg each other on, you know, they're like the wind beneath my wings or whatever. Um, so there's that, the, you know, the air and fire dynamic. So that's, that's a nice one. Um, they're both cardinal. So they're both going to want to take initiative. Um, but the way they're taking initiative is different. You know, Aries the self, uh, Libra relationships. Um, one thing that I will say is that for Libra in general, you know, you do have, you know, the rest of the chart to think about and everything, but with Libra in general, it's going to be hard to really not get along with them. It's it's kind of hard to not get along with a Libra um, because even if they're aggressive, it kind of comes out more passive aggressive um, and they're generally really likable. They don't want to be um, disliked generally. They really want to... Um, they really have that di diplomatic edge to their personality and they want to they want to have positive relationships in all in every sense of the word. So even when they're aggressive, it can be sort of like passive aggressive. But what's the issues that can present themselves with an Aries and Libra relationship is that, first of all, um, Aries does not appreciate coming to Libra with um with a complaint or something they feel really passionate about and being met with um, kind of this cool front. Libra can be very detached as far as um, the opinions that they have and uh, you know the things that they're passionate about, they can really detach themselves from you know how personally involved they are in it because they understand that other people feel just as passionately about you know a completely different side. You know, Libra is devil's advocate extraordinaire. So you've got Aries who's all passion, singularly focused, really, um, really, really just 
feels passionately about whatever they're talking about, they come to Libra and it might be a complaint, it might be um, an idea, it might be a cause. And Libra is balance. Libra is the scales. Libra is balance. So they meet Aries with, um, with balance, which is, you know, Aries is passion. Aries is, you know, singularly focused. You know, I'm right. Everyone else is wrong. And I'm saying that as an Aries, so I kind of understand <laughs> understand where that's coming from but um Libra says oh well you know have you considered you know this you know this alternative to what you're saying have you considered that that's not how they meant that or have you considered that um you know maybe you should take a step back and think about your options before you make this decision Aries wants Aries wants to be um Aries wants to be validated they want to they want to have you know, they want to be um, encouraged to do the thing that they're passionate about. And Libra isn't discouraging, but Aries can interpret it that way because Libra is not getting as passionately involved right away. Um, I know that I dated a Libra for a little bit and I was telling him something, uh, a way that someone had wronged me. So I was telling him about this, this thing that happened um, with an ex, and I, uh, I told him about this thing that happened, and he said, wow, that's horrible, and then he texted me again before I even replied and said, but you know, I don't know, I wasn't there, and I was, I was just offended, I was just offended that he wasn't taking my word for it, and, you know, getting as mad as I was, but really, that's, that's really the more, um, you know, the smarter approach, because you never really know where, I mean, he didn't really know me that well. Um, it's kind of like, you don't really know who you're talking to. They could be misconstruing every detail. Um, they could be making something up even. It could be revenge, whatever. You just don't know. So having that balance when you're listening to someone is uh, important, I think. And, you know, observing... Um, from an impartial place. Air, uh, Libra is very impartial and um, can, again, can really easily detach themselves from any bias that they have. Um, Libra is going to find Aries a little bit abrasive because, you know, Libra is having more of that, um, they have more of that cool front, they have more of that detached way to the way that they handle, um, the way that they handle things. And Aries, wants to, you know, low vibration, especially Aries, is going to want to really kind of mow everyone over and um, make them submit to their way of thinking. So Aries can be really, really passionate and really, you know, why aren't you seeing things from my point of view? You know, um, again, really singularly focused, really passionate about what they're saying. Um, and Libra can find that a little overwhelming because, you know, that's not how they deal with things, and they don't want to be made to uh, look at things from a perspective that they don't agree with, or, you know, they don't have all the facts. So in that way, Aries can be really overwhelming to Libra, and, um, but again, this can work because Libra is so easy to get along with, and Libra is so, um, I would I want to say emotionally intelligent. They they are an air sign, so they're not they don't really rule the emotions, but they're able to convert this intellectual intelligence um, regarding how they you know how to deal with people into a sort of emotional intelligence. So when Aries is coming at them like this, they have a way of smoothing things over and saying you know, okay, I didn't realize that you know you felt so passionately about this. I didn't realize that. Um, that's how you felt, you know, we can talk about it, we can compromise. Libra is very big on compromise. So it's very, um, it can be a very good dynamic in that way. And because Libra continues to come at them with this more rational approach, um, Aries can kind of learn to develop more of that impartial approach themselves and um, learn how to be a little bit more peaceable. Libra, on the other hand, can learn from Aries that if you feel passionate about something, it's okay to express that and it's okay to defend yourself. You know, Aries is very self-interested. Um, 
And a dynamic that I have noticed with Aries and Libra is that if Libra doesn't stick up for themselves, Aries can just mow over them um, and not on purpose. It's because Aries, that's what Aries does. Aries needs a, a formidable partner. <laughs> so um, Libra can get a little bit offended after a while. I and mean, why are you mowing me down after a while? You know, Libra can kind of stomach any um, personal injury for a good long time. And then suddenly it comes out pretty um, passive aggressively or, you know, it comes out in a way that Aries would have never guessed that Libra was mad or upset or offended, but they are. So it comes out kind of suddenly that there's been this offense. And Aries, um, Aries might react by saying, you need to learn to express that to me. If you feel that I'm I'm mowing you over in the moment, you need to express that to me. And because Aries kind of consistently makes Libra um, you know, express their individuality, you know, express their personal interests, Libra can learn from that. And even if Aries isn't mowing Libra over, Aries can really get irritated watching other people mow Libra over and um, take advantage of Libra and consistently say to them, you can stick up for yourself. You can act in your own best interest. And there's just a lot that uh, this pair can learn from one another. And, you know, there is that um, difficult dynamic with, uh, you know, Aries being all passion and Libra being kind of impartial and more measured in their approach. But overall, this is a pretty nice dynamic and um, they can really learn a lot from one another. So anyway, that's all I had to say about Aries and Libra. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and have a great day.